Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Here I am on my Chrome and I have a little emulator here um, with an Apple iPhone 6. And when I click on this menu button here, the little menu comes up and comes down. And uh, But when I get to a larger size, that menu disappears and the new menu comes up. The menu with a regular, uh, you know, a regular hovering here. But when I go to the phone, back to iPhone 6 or anything, let's say Galaxy S4, same thing happens. I can click on that and it comes right back up. So I want to show you how to make that little menu here. That uh, it's a responsive site menu that uh, disappears and reappears and the functionality is really nice okay so there are no there is no shortage of how to make a menu a javascript menu but um, i wanted to kind of put my two cents in also so let's start with the regular code uh, it's real simple you're going to create two different menus here's my nav menu which is this menu right here then we have the button that shows up when you get smaller than a certain amount. And then you have the mobile nav, which shows up when you click on this and it toggles on and off. Okay. So uh, that's real simple. You just create your navigation. Okay. After that, you go to your CSS and let's save that. We go to our CSS and the first thing we do is we hide the menu button. Okay. We hide this menu button when um, we're in full size like this. Okay, that button is hidden. We don't have to hide the uh, we don't have to hide the menu this menu here because the way we're actually creating the menu is that within the menu the menu is in this div called mobile nav and mobile nav has a height of zero pixels okay see mobile nav is is height of zero now the reason you don't see it let's go ahead and put like 150 pixels here refresh okay so now you see that's at 150 pixels high and you can see it peeking through here so if i put this back at zero and refresh it you see that it goes away so it's there the menu is there is just behind this uh, div and the reason why you don't see it is because the overflow for that uh, div is hidden okay so once we have that all set up then we have in the at media query okay we have the reverse when we get to a certain um, width, anything below 699 pixels inclusive, then we actually hide the main nav. So when we get to that size, we hide the main nav. So, so far, this is what we see, but there you go. Okay. So now after that, you know, it's simple. All we have to do is put the JavaScript together. Okay. So the JavaScript is right here. And what we're saying is we're going to get the element by ID and it's going to be this mobile nav. So remember the mobile nav is the actual navigation. It's the div that's holding the navigation. So once we get to the mobile nav, call it X just so that we don't have to keep typing this a bazillion times. And we're going to make a function called box nav. Okay. You can name that anything. We could call it slider nav or uh, uh, anything. Accordion nav, it's up to you. And so we're saying that if the mobile nav style is at 350 pixels, make sure to change it to zero pixels. But if it's at zero pixels, I want you to show it at 350 pixels. So that's what you're saying. This if else set statement is saying exactly this. And so when we click it right now, it's at zero pixels and we have it at 350 pixels. 
how did I get 350 pixels? Well, simple math. We know that the height, which of course you can change, we know that the height of each one of these A tags is 50 pixels, and we have six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. You multiply that times six, you get 300, but they both have, they have a margin of five picks. So I, I put that, so 330. So, but I, I kind of added some padding and, and it worked out pretty good. So just trial and error, you know? If you go too low, you won't get what you're looking for, okay? So then of course, the animation, if you're not quite sure how to make the animation, the animation is through a transition. Sorry about the motorcycle in the background. My neighbor has a motorcycle. So he has a transition of uh, all transition just to kind of cover everything. And then we're going to put 0.4 seconds in linear. And of course, if we raise this, it's going to be slower or faster. It's just depending on how you want to do it. So and there you have it. We have a nice little sliding bar that gets out of the way when you need it to. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know.